So we've made it to the landing at the top of the staircase to the third floor. Um, one thing that you see a lot throughout this floor, uh, we have these beautiful light fixtures. Uh, now, a lot of people think that perhaps these could be made by Tiffany & Company. Um, they would be wrong. These would only be made by Tiffany & Company if Lewis Tiffany were in preschool. Um, these we call Gillette lights. Uh, Gillette made them himself. We like to think of them as Gillette's own little knockoff of Tiffany. He literally just took broken bottles and he painted them, glued them together, and tried to make them look cool. So it's his own little arts and crafts uh, project for the castle. Now, if you look where I'm standing right now, uh, even though we're on the third floor, you see I'm on another staircase. So this staircase goes up to the tower room. Now, um, the castle was built in its original form between 1914 and 1919, and then it was expanded between 1923 and 1926. So the tower rooms were part of the castle expansion. Now, um, just a little disclaimer here. When the castle is open for the season, this uh, staircase up to the tower room is locked up uh, to the public due to state fire codes. Um, but because we are doing these videos, we'll show you at least what it looks like so you have a good idea. Um, so we're going to start to make our way up the stairs so you can go right ahead and let's check it out. So we've made it up the stairs to this first landing and we have a rather strange door here. Now this actually goes to a trunk room. So of course in uh, any day, including today, if you're traveling you need luggage. So William Gillette used trunks uh, that he would pack on the steamers he'd use to take across the ocean. Um, so this is where those would have been stored. So this uh, is sort of cool because the door opens in a very unique way. So first of all we have the locking mechanism which slides out. Then we have top door which opens to the side like that. And we have the bottom door which opens downward with a step that brings us right into the room. Now this is a storage room and that's what we use it for now as well. Um, but the other really cool part of this is the fact that you can see right next to me, uh, we have one of the steel I beams. So um, most of the areas of the castle, the steel that's holding up the house is very much hidden. Um, but here you can see it pretty plain because it's right next to me and it's really, really big. So we're going to continue on up the stairs now. we've made it to another landing um, and here we have another door this one pretty simple you just take this piece out the latch opens and then you can open it as well now it's really windy uh, so uh, this actually goes to the outside this goes to the main section of the roof um, so a lot of times when you look at the uh, castle from the outside you look all the way up and there's a lot of gaps in the stonework it almost looks like a ruin uh, it doesn't seem like it's structurally sound it doesn't look like it's complete um, it actually is. That's the way Gillette designed it. He wanted you to think this was an old medieval ruin, so he made the uh, upper levels look very much like they were falling apart. This would have been where the main section of the roof was, plus it's where it still is. Uh, we replaced the roof. We updated it, modernized it a little bit. Uh, when we did our restoration between 1999 and 2002, plus we also did a little bit of work to it recently, but it's structurally sound and we love it. And then we're going to continue on up the stairs. So this is the main tower room. Now right now we are about six and a half stories up from the ground level of the castle where we entered uh, way back when. Um, so you can see it's a fairly uh, open space pretty big room considering and uh, essentially this was just a nice place to enjoy the scenery. So we're in a 200 foot hill overlooking the Connecticut River so in any direction you look there's a window that's pointing outward um, so you can see a decent amount of the area you can enjoy the scenery 
And we don't really know for sure what William Gillette did in here, but I'd like to think he just came up here to take some time to relax and hang out and just enjoy the view. Um, in fact, over on this side we have a door which leads to a balcony. Now again, pretty windy right now, um, but this balcony wraps around half the outside of the tower room and you can see it pretty pretty plainly when you do look at the outside of the castle, um, even from all the way down there. And it gives you a pretty good view. In fact, if you're looking north of here, uh, as long as uh, the trees aren't covering everything up, you can actually see all the way over to the Goodspeed Opera House and the East Haddon Swing Bridge. Um, so like I said, it's just a good place to hang out and enjoy the view. And uh, on a nice hot and humid day, there's a pretty nice breeze coming off the river. Um, now, I mentioned that there were tower rooms, as in plural, uh, so this is the first tower room, the main tower room, um, and then uh, we'll show you the uh, other one in a moment. So, we got to see the awesome tower room, um, but there's actually another one over here. So we're on the other corner of the castle, right now we're at the end of the third floor hallway. Now, you take a look, we have this mysterious door plastered with the employees only sign. Now, if you remember the last time we saw a mysterious door that said employees only, we were on the second floor and we saw the servants' quarters and the servants' staircase. But over here, this one shows us the servants' staircase. So, um, it's a staircase that runs all the way from this level down to the basement, what his servants would use. But this also is an access point for the second tower room. Now, we refer to the second room uh, as the secret room. Um, and I don't think Gillette actually called it that, that's just what we use to reference it. Um, it's based off of a room that uh, Gillette had in his family house up in Hartford. Now, with the primary tower room, it's just a regular staircase that goes all the way up. Not so much with this one. This one here, you see we have some steps that are currently vertical. Um, so, this is a little bit more complicated to get into. So these steps are actually uh, locked in right now, so I'm going to unlock the lever, and then I can push down on it. That allows the stairs to come down. Now there's a counterweight on the other side of this uh, that helps to get the stairs to come down. And as I push on this lever, not only do the steps come down, but they also, uh, as you can see, open a hatch up into that room. Um, so the tower, uh, the second tower, the secret room, is the room that is directly above us. Um, so you can see some pictures of it uh, right now. You can see it's a very small room. Um, basically, it has a small fireplace. And then other than that, it's just roof access. Um, but it's still pretty cool.